Just wanted to show this um, messing about yesterday. Just to try and get it so when you watch something, Charles has watched at the minute. He's putting them up at the top. I suppose it's all the good thing. This is on Pandora's box. I was just working on it. So, all right, so show this. Obviously, the content, blah, 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 is up to you. But it's quite a good way. Uh, also, put favourites in. It's Pandora's box. So, yeah, whenever it's resolving the URL at the minute, as long as it sends it through your resolver, it'll put it down that it's watched. It should work already. That's crashed. But yeah, anyway, you can see it works on the other bits. I wrote a little write up that I'll put in my. I'll just put it in the description actually. It should fit in there and you can grab that. That's all it's doing at the top of your coat, setting your add on path. It's good practice anyway, so you can use that for, I don't know, if you want to use your images or whatever. Setting the user data path for the add-on data folder. So setting that, add-on data is, equals user data path plus, and that'll be whatever you want to call your folder. It's so normally your plugin name. And then I'll put a slash in before and after because obviously you've got to fill the path. You can put a slash at the end of there and take it off here. But I mean, that's up to you. It's just how I'd done it. I'd miss one off and just added it on on this one. I should have left it on here, but anyways. Um, checks if add on data exists. Obviously, you'll have to import for these. Import re and OS. I believe that's it. And obviously URL lib2, I expect for your resolver and that, but you should already have them. So make sure they're imported. A basic Python thing, so you haven't got to do anything other than just type import. So yeah, just check if the folder exists. And then create if, well, it's checking if it doesn't exist, sorry. If no path exists, rather than checking if it exists and going through that bit of code, it's just save a little bit of time. It just checks if it doesn't exist. Otherwise, it will skip it. So, check if it doesn't exist, and then it makes that directory. And then defines watched, which is your add on data plus, which is your add on data, which you define there as your folder that you want to create, plus watch.txt. So that will define the location of that watch.txt and then it will check if that doesn't exist. If it doesn't, it will open it. Then W plus seems to just open and so it will create a file. So if it's not there, it will make it. And then we'll define what's read for later on down here. Just when you're rejecting that. I like to do things up the top if I think I might use them again. Just going to use them in all the code. So does that. Uh, so, what it's doing at the end of it, down here in your resolver, I'll put this in the beginning of the resolver. So, as soon as it sends anything to the resolver, it's going to send a URL. So, it's opening watched and it's appending. So setting it to open and it that you want to append and then it's writing URL equals and then sticking the URL in, printing that plus shift then to end the line. And then closing it, that's it simply. So it's just writing that to No wrong one. Watched. There you go, you can see it's just adding them in. So all it's doing is just making a big list. We'll see if you feel that's going to be big. Just delete them all. You'll have to start again. You'd lose everything. But that should stay there. You shouldn't lose that. Because it's in your add-on data. So you shouldn't get overwritten. 
because I done it when I first done it. I done it in the add-ons folder, then I done an update, and it deleted it all. So don't do that. See, so yeah, it's adding it there, and then use this to check for the URL. So basically, you're opening that file. Do this on um. Look, if you've got a menu for playlists, if you've got some menu code, just stick this in there before you actually display everything with whatever code you've got. I've got add there, it's called. So just use this. Stick it in before and then keep add there in line with four because otherwise it'll only work if the URL matches and it just saves two bits of code. So what she calls recompiles, you're rejecting that list I just showed you, or rejecting that file. So it's just looking for this, whatever's in URL, in between the speech mark, quotation marks, whatever, and then it's finding all of them, and then defining each one of them as an item, well as an item, and then if the item equals the URL, which you'll have had to define with the rejects with whatever that'll have to be defined before so that's up for you to put it in this point is me showing you how i've done it because it was a bit different so yeah if that matches the url you've just put that you're sending through here then it just changes the name basically just sticks watched in red in front of it and then you add name either way so you're sending a name through from up here so, name equals turtle, you know, our equals, and so we get one of these. So, yeah, so obviously that'll get a match, and then I'll just stick watching in front of it if URL is nothing. Then it won't get a match and it'll just stick your name as turtle and match that and then it'll be watched turtle. So yeah, that's it quite simply. I thought I'd do a video, I was just gonna put the code out, but I thought I'd just do a little bit just to show what it's about and how it works, just as a little talk through so you can sort of understand it hopefully. So yeah, um, So yeah, I'll stick this in the description. Actually, I'll upload it and just put a link to it. Might be easier. Uh, well, I'll see. I'll see how I feel. If it's not in the description, there'll be a link to it anyway. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, no, I haven't done any videos for a while, but I don't get watched a lot, so I'm sure you haven't missed them too much. Hopefully, it's helped someone, and I'll see you again.